Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I have uh, a multimeter and the multimeter was sent to me by FanLab. And FanLab you can find on, uh, on AliExpress and on Amazon. We're going to have a closer look at this meter. This meter is the VM600A. So here it is, nice box. VM600A. Uh, no specifications on the box, so we probably need to have a look inside. I did open it already myself before. This kind of a blueish. It has a magnet on the back, so you can stick it to something. It is 6,000 counts. So we're going to play with it to see how accurate it is. Take the foil off. It looks brand, brand new. And it has a lot of settings. We have here millivolts, AC, DC, normal volts. We have ohms, continuity, resistors, capacitors, duty cycle, and hertz. We have micro amps, AC, DC, milliamps, AC, DC normal amps up to 20 it seems if i look here in the bottom and non-voltage contact and temperature so what we have we have four triple a's spare fuses very nice detail the temperature sensor the probes we have a closer look at those and manual, English, French. Okay, many. Oh, here it is. Deutsch, Francais, Italiano, Espanol, and English because that's where it starts, I think. No, it starts with German. Okay, this is serious. <laughs> they say here in the front, use a manual, and then I look inside, and then I have every language except my own, and except English. So that's kind of funny. Maybe they think, uh, oh yeah, we can uh, send these Dutch people German, but it is really a different uh, language. So, okay, for me this is useless, then we go for no manual. Then we hope we find out what the options. The cables, they feel nice. It is soft. Okay. Okay, let's see the batteries. How many we need, I don't know. Let's have a look. Ah, we only... Oh, we need four, but they are... All the way in, okay. Yes, we have power. Big digits. We have a backlight. Wow, nice and bright. And there's even a flashlight. They like to put the flashlight in everything nowadays. I don't know why. Well, let's go through all the options. We have here millivolts. It's 6,000 counts, so does it go to 6 volt or does it go to 0.6? 100 millivolts, 200, 300, 600. Oh. Okay, well, readout seems uh, fine to me. Very little difference. 
And the good thing, because it's uh, 6,000 counts, so the 5 volt is still visible. So the 5 volts, well, look at that. And this is the DC, and uh, the DMM check plus here is even more precise. Let me just warm it already. And then we can have that uh, check that too. I can do it immediately now. Uh, this one off. And then we can also do the AC. Let's see if it's true RMS also. Okay, well, again, the 5 volt. Let me go to AC. Then probably this one. Yeah, that is a little low, but. And with a higher frequency, nope. So there is a filter. That does not go above 10k. This is 100 hertz. And we can also check the duty cycle. Yes, 100 hertz. Go back. Does it do 10k? Yes, it does. 10k. Uh, does it do duty cycle? No, oh, here, 50. That is correct. Okay, that works. Let's do the ohms. I have here some one percent. Yeah, one hundred. One k. The one k is spot on. Yeah. Also on this meter. I'm always surprised, even the cheaper meters, that uh, resistance is usually nothing wrong. Usually it's very good. Okay, let's try continuity. Okay, seems fast. Uh, caps. I can do caps also. One nano, I think. Yeah, oh, nice, so many digits. 10 nanos. Oh, 100. And a micro. Yep, works. We can do some amps. Milli amps. Probably go to this one. Switch it on. DC. Then I should have exactly one milliamp. Yes, and on AC. I'm now probably on 10. Okay. Yeah. 100 hertz. Yeah. Okay. One amp milliamp AC also works. Non voltage. Well, let's try that. I'm just gonna go quickly through all the things. I have here my power cable. Uh, yeah. And it's just the cable. Works. Okay. What else? Temperature. Okay, this is interesting. I didn't put my sensor yet, and it already says 21, 22. That is correct. So it probably uses now an internal temperature meter and not the external. Do I need to push a button to switch it over? Will it automatically detect? It will automatically detect. That is interesting. Now I'm holding it. Then I pull it out. Then it goes to the internal again. Yes, it does. Okay, pretty smart. That was very quick through all the measurements it can do. The values look uh, very good. It is indeed true RMS because otherwise with the 5 volt we would have seen 5.5. But we saw like 4.998 or something. So that was uh, good. Uh, 
I do want to try the 20 amp setting just to see if it is uh, true. So I'll get my electronic load, put some power. Let's see what it does. So let's see, I have my electronic load there. It is the Kunkin. I made a review of that also before. Uh, that will be my load. I have a power supply here. That can do 40 amps, so that is enough. I will use double cables. In the plus here. In the plus of the meter. Then electronic load on there. And then this one goes out here. Okay, I think everything is visible. We have here the meter that's reading the amps. This is the power supply that is reading the amps. This guy can go. And here we have the electronic load. So if I say set, let's put it to one amp first. I say on, we should have an, yeah, that is a bit buggy from this one. Yeah, one amp, one amp here. Almost one ampere, one ampere, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, it has a 20 amp, uh, and we have spare fuses, so we just continue. Why is it beeping? Because it can do 20 amps. Okay, let's see if I can find that. Because it says 20 amps and then in the in the screen it started beeping at 12. Uh, yeah, I need to do German or French. Maybe German will work. How they say here. Uh, when does strom more as so when it's more than five amps, then you cannot do more than ten minutes with your current uh, testing. But it doesn't mention uh, it doesn't. We didn't play for ten minutes, but it doesn't mention it will make a sound. And about the RMS that I tried to measure at 10k, no, it doesn't work because there is a filter. Um, below one kilohertz so we are above that and that's why we didn't have a readout makes sense because they try to make these low pass filters so you don't pick up too much uh, hf noise on your cables and then you measure the wrong value so okay makes sense usually you are measuring 50 60 hertz or maybe a little bit higher so um yeah i still don't see why it's making a noise well, let's do that again. Uh, 10 amps, yes, that is okay. Here we go, 10, 11. Now it starts to make noise because they want this not to do a long measurement. Yes, it does go up to 20. And we go down. Okay. Also, I was looking if there is a relative mode, and they have, when you have here this switch weight, hertz, and percentage for the duty cycle, there also is a little triangle. Uh, so I thought, okay, maybe that is a relative mode, but it didn't work in resistance. But I find out this sort of relative mode is only for the capacitance uh, measurements, not for resistance. In the beginning, I thought it looked a bit like a badly molded tube plastic but now I'm actually holding it uh, a bit longer and it is now a little bit warmer because it just came in the post but it actually is a rubbery so it actually is a good good rubbery protection and uh, the magnet uh, works so that was it the VM600A from uh, FanLab uh, yeah what can I say easy and effective perfect starter multimeter Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.